Hello sports fans, I'm Hidden Track TV's Guy Hilbert, the voice of the Worst Basketball Player Ever series. Right in the face goes the ball. I'm here today to tackle the question that's on every YouTuber's mind. Who is the worst basketball player ever? Some folks say it's James Katusko, seen here getting blocked by some old guy. But others are now coming forward saying it is in fact Garrett Steinger, seen here airballing a layup. We went to the streets of their hometown, Huntington, Long Island, to see what the fans think. The worst basketball player ever? Definitely James Katusko. Garrett Steinger. James Katusko. Garrett Steinger? Since pretty much all the people we interviewed were our schmuck-ass friends, we decided to let the professionals weigh in with their opinion. First, we have Ellie Sekback of ES News. Ellie, who is the worst basketball player ever? I'm Ellie Sekback, the embedded NBA correspondent. You've probably seen my videos on YouTube on ES News. Now, as to your question, who's the worst basketball player ever? Well, it's gotta be James. He's way worse than Garrett. I mean, when James gets in the game, terrible things happen. He can't dribble, he takes terrible shots, he doesn't play defense, he turns the ball over, he doesn't even talk smack. His nickname speaks for itself, Agent Minus. When he gets in, terrible things happen. Now Ellie, I understand saying that James is worse than Garrett, but is it fair to say that he is the worst basketball player ever? I look at it this way, I've been around basketball for 29 years, 29 years. 12 of them is an NBA correspondent. I've seen players at all kinds of levels. Great players, legendary players, average players, bad players. James, he's the worst of the worst. I mean, he spends so much time on the bench that Preparation H want to sponsor him. Think about that one. On top of that, if they gave out an award for least valuable player, James would win for sure. In a landslide, I would say he would win it back to back to back. Like, I don't know, just unstoppable when it comes to being so bad. Thanks, Ellie. Now we're going to send it over to Poipac Sports Correspondents Greg Berman and Neil Tafoya. Guys, who's worse, James or Garrett? Thanks, Guy. Now, the worst basketball player ever is clearly Garrett Steinger. You know, I heard that he's the only player that actually styles his hair before he plays the basketball game. No, I, I know what you're That's saying. That's weird. I know That's what you're saying. It's a little weird. You know, uh, uh, they say Southpaws have, have an awkward, you know, style of play, but I mean, this guy's style of play is just flat out hideous. And who is he fooling with that gigantic knee brace? I mean, that thing is huge. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna fool anyone into thinking you're a ball. Ugh, guys, way too much of a pretty boy to have sustained any serious injuries. Trust me, he is pretty. I couldn't agree more, Neil. Pretty boy. Boy, it's, it's attractive, is what I'm saying. Right, but he... Yeah, it's the worst. One of the worst. Probably the worst. Okay, all of this is definitely true, but James does have five parts to his series, while Garrett only has two. There has to be a reason why there's more footage of James. You know, I have some insider information that there's already a part three in the works for Garrett. Now, Garrett joined the team eight games into the season, so that makes up for the lost footage. And you know, on top of all that, James is just a more likable, more well-known player. I mean, people in Garrett's hometown don't even know who he is. People don't even know who he is in his hometown. We people went, we went to his hometown. We went there. Yeah, roll the clip. Those people didn't know who he was. Those people did not, didn't even know who he was. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know who he was if he wasn't so awful. If he wasn't so awful, who is this guy? He's the worst. That's who. I'm Greg Berman. And I'm Neil Tafoya for Point Back Sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Greg and Neil. And thanks again to Ellie Sekback. In association with Poipac and ES News, I'm Hidden Track TV's Guy Hilbert, saying two Suburbans and a hearse, because we're killing them out there. Good night, folks. <laughs>